G'day everyone and welcome to another edition of What's New in EDU. This week we're coming to you from London where we'll be sharing daily dispatches from BET UK 2020. And all this week I've got my good friend and educator Stephen Eustace helping me out, meeting with students, experts and other educators to discover the latest news, trends and innovative updates coming out of our booth. Hey Stephen. Stephen. Oh, hey. Hey. Wonderful to be here. Hey, it's great to have you here and welcome to BET 2020. What is it that you're most excited to learn about? I was just over there checking out some amazing devices that are durable, secure, affordable, and all of that good stuff. So I'm excited to learn about the impact that these devices are going to have in the future of teaching and learning. As well, the amazing resources that Microsoft have got cooked up for learners and teachers. The future? Bright. Everyone feels it, and so do I. I'm excited. Awesome. Let's go and have a look. What I'd like to see in future devices for my students, battery life, battery life, battery life. Did I say battery life? I think I did. Pins are like bobby pins. Where do they go? Nobody knows. Hashtag that feeling when their laptops survive a trip to the zoo. My laptop died and I forgot my charger. Well, that's the new my dog ate my homework, I think. Hashtag teacher life. Okay, you know what? There's so many tweets and I don't have enough screen, but I've got Frank here to help me out with some of these. Hey, Frank. Hey, Stephen, how, how are, are you? you? Yeah, let's talk devices, shall we? Please. All right. Hey, you know, every year we know that students and teachers and IT are all trying to improve student uh, outcomes through technology. But really to be effective, what we schools need, affordable devices yep. that are reliable in the classroom, built-in security with yep. minimal burden on IT to manage those devices, right? So it. we're here to tell you that we have all kinds of great offerings starting at $219 US dollars okay. uh, from our Microsoft portfolio. So, and every year, our partners come together with new innovations, new features, new specs that make these devices even better. And I'd love to show you some of those things. I'd love to see them. All right, awesome. I'm gonna start with this Do Acer it. device right here. Now, first of all, again, these devices start at 219 US dollars. They are ruggedized, all day battery life. And some of the improvements on these, they're even more rugged. So you're Very talking about rugged. losing, taking these to the zoo. Yeah, you could yeah. take this to the zoo, right? Yeah. You could put a pounding on these guys. And they, the lion's they, mouth. Yeah, and they, that's, um, don't Nose. do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they are waterproof, by the way. Yeah, oh, oh they are. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Okay. And we're all day battery life. And yeah. we continue to improve on those features as well. And then we add new innovations like this light got? right here. Tell me more. So this is the Acer Travelmate. It comes with an indicator light right here. This light can be either green, mm -hmm. red, or white. And depending on how the teacher programs this, the students can respond. So the teacher from the front of the classroom can quickly assess uh, all the students and maybe see if they're all doing all right or maybe not doing, if they can move on with the lesson like or the maybe student's card. exactly yeah. a little yeah. extra attention on some students that might need a little help. I so got it. That's so nice. these indicator lights are just awesome. So this is the Acer Travelmate, Lovely. one of our new uh, newer devices Looks here. Great. All right. This one right oh. here, this is the Lenovo 300. It's rugged. Away. I could use, I could actually use a, a number two pencil to ink on this device right here. This is the Stop. Lenovo. We have a number of devices that have this feature that as well. That is awesome. Right? Okay, so there's that. That's a number two pencil. You broke the stylus. In, in addition to this, we also have devices now with a new feature. Oh. It's got a pen garage. I don't know if you can see that, right? Would so the pen, stop? the pen is housed right. No, I don't want to stop. I got more to tell you. <laughs> That's it, awesome. Yeah, right? It, it, it's housed right in there. And in some cases, they'll even charge the pen. So it's, it's ready to go. Okay, I like All that. Right? So, so these inking devices, uh, you can come check these out as well. And we have some more good news. So the broadband gap is a real issue, right? Students go home in rural areas, or maybe they go home and they don't have Wi-Fi and they can't get connected. And we know how teachers rely on that sort of that homework on the internet for homework. So we're introducing two new Built for Education connected devices using the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset. And this is one of them right here. This is the Positivo Wise. And so this uses cellular technology to get connected so you don't need Wi-Fi. So think about the infrastructure cost schools can save without having to implement Wi-Fi and some other server uh, implementations yeah, here with this device. So we're really super excited to introduce these two devices, two new devices, starting at 299 US dollars. You've shown me a lot today. Yeah, I have. Let's be honest about it. There's gonna be more too coming out later this year. So if you're here on the show floor, you can come by the devices lab behind us and, and take a look to actually touch these things. You've shown me so much today, but we're gonna go to Brian in just a moment. I have an idea. Let's do a selfie Let's before we go. All right, here we go. Right, here we go. All right, one, two, three. Hey, hey Brian. Brian. Thanks, Frank and Steven. At my school, we wanted to deploy the new Edge because it brings us the compatibility with the entire web that we were missing with our previous browser. 
We used Intune for Education to deploy it. I was able to upload the file, assign it to users, and push it out to all those users quickly. Within a matter of hours, it was deployed everywhere. We we're really excited about the new accessibility features coming with the new Edge for all of our students. And now to Becky and Justin. Thanks, Brian. We can't discuss the importance of affordable devices without mentioning all the new tools that help you get the most out of those devices. So here are some updates to Teams we're really excited to share with you because they'll make collaboration way more fun and effective. And in the spirit of collaboration, I've invited Becky to share the latest features that were inspired by educators. Thanks, Justin. We're live coming to you from the Microsoft Training Academy here at BET. We'll both be up here all week long leading sessions and inspiring educators, but let's get back to Teams. So first up, we are introducing a new experience for educators to gain insight into student performance, the Class Insights tab. Look for it. Educators can add the new Class Insights tab to their class team and see average grades, on-time assignments, average return time, and conversation activity for their class. Now educators will have a single view to observe individual student and class performance. With student data right at our fingertips, we can make more informed decisions about course content, pace of instruction, and student engagement. Yeah, absolutely. And next, we've released the hotly anticipated Grades tab. Yeah, I'm so excited. Each of your class teams now has a Grades tab where you can view assignments at a glance, as well as track how individual students in your class are progressing. Use the Grades tab to get an overview of your class, access data quickly, and open re and return student work. And finally, I'm personally looking forward to using some of these new EDU sticker packs. Yeah. Mini monsters and international foods, they're so fun and it kind of makes me hungry. These packs are coming soon to Teams for EDU, but will also be available in Class Notebook and Whiteboard. These are just a few of the new things happening on Microsoft Teams. For even more updates, head over to the blog. All right, back to you, Stephen. Hey, thanks, Justin and Becky. We're gonna go over for a moment now and learn some stuff about Whiteboard from my friend Ian. Hey, Stephen, good to see you. Hey, good to be seen. How's it going? It's going well. Okay. I got a gift for you first. A brand new Whiteboard sticker. Oh. Gotta give you some swag to start off with. Starting with gifts is always a good yeah. thing. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, then I have three things I wanna tell you and a fourth bonus secret feature for Ooh. Whiteboard. Okay, I like that. Hot off the presses. I like that one. So the first one, we'll start on our demo board here. Okay. Uh, up at the top, you see that the teacher has some instructions for the class. They're going through a process, learning something. But if you look underneath, you'll actually notice that the teachers also divided the class out into groups. So they can start to work together and collaborate on the same board. Okay. But you'll notice something looks different here. Yeah. It's using something new in Whiteboard we call templates. Ah. So templates have kind of magical secret powers behind them. And I want to show you one of them today. I'm all about that magic. So tap one of these sticky notes for me. Okay, I'm gonna go for Velcro shoes. And you'll notice there's a little thumbs up there. Hit that. Go for it. And boom, you just reacted on a whiteboard object. I like it. I so like this that. is great. Think about like a brainstorm session. You wanna get the kids' reactions to something or their best ideas voted up. Mm -hmm. Really useful for that. You can actually even do things like sort uh, by different options and wow. it's, it's powerful. Okay, that's good. So that's I like, reactions. I like that one. The second thing I wanted to show you is how to actually get one of these templates in your whiteboard. Yep. Please. Right? Yep. So it's not just for brainstorming. We have many different templates. Okay. If you want to add your own, I'm going to get to a blank area of the whiteboard. Yeah, yeah, cool. Just hit that plus button for me down there. All right. And then hit template. Okay. And you'll first notice this beautiful gallery pops up, right? Scroll, Can I scroll down. Through? Yeah. Lots of different templates. Uh, uh, one really popular one in education is something called KWL. Can I go for right? it? Yeah. Tap that guy. And boom, you have a template, right? That easy. It comes with a bunch of great stuff in it. So if you zoom in, you'll actually see there's an area where we describe what is this template about. Okay. We give you some magical areas with yeah. kind of special properties. And even different areas like a list area down here, you can put some goals oh, nice. for your project. Like yeah. So this is powerful as a teacher if you want to set up your class. Definitely. The thing I want to tell you is we're just starting to build education templates in Whiteboard. So we're going to start building out lots more of those. So that little gallery you saw, it's just going to keep growing over time. Oh, so talking. stay tuned on okay, that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. All right. The third thing I wanted to show okay. you was something that gives teachers control because we kept hearing that they want more control over the Whiteboard. That's Who normal. doesn't want that? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's normal. So, I'm gonna slide you over a little bit here. Okay. Imagine we have a teacher and a student, mm -hmm. both on the same whiteboard, but on two different devices. Okay. So let's say that I wanted to have the, the student over here just not be able to mess with the whiteboard for a little bit. Fair. Fair enough. Yeah, that's good. I can go right up here as the teacher, yep. tap on the people picker in whiteboard, 
I can see the list of everybody on it, all okay. my students, right? Yeah, and right. I can just say, okay, I want to actually turn Henrietta in a read-only mode. Yeah. Oh, so that's I'm going to have you good. tap yeah, that button, good. and what okay. you're going to see is that toolbar for Henrietta is going to disappear. Ah, spoiler. So yeah. Let's see. So watch this one over here. It's sinking over. And then you'll see that the toolbar ah, disappears. And it changed. Look at that. Exactly. That's the good. teacher okay. knows that like the that. student's in read only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And cool. the whiteboard shows that it's in read only. Okay, that's some good so stuff. So this is great. You yeah. might have this, a little time in your lesson, right? You want to teach for a while, and yeah. then you want to let the students collaborate. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so I like that. That's, that's the third one. one. Now, the last bonus one. Yeah. I'm going to show you right one? over here. I'm going to tap this button to go to the new Edge browser for okay. Microsoft. This is office.com, yeah. right? You know and love. Yeah. All of our web apps you are here. Yeah. Look what's here now. Yeah, you're there. Whiteboard. <laughs> What's Brand going new. on? Yeah. So just tap that. Okay. And you're launching the new Whiteboard web app. Oh. This runs in any browser, and it gets you access to all the whiteboards that are on your uh, Windows 10 or iOS devices. Okay, that's a big deal. Game changer. That's the secret one there. Yeah. I like that one. All right, so those are the four features for Whiteboard. New at bet this year. Let's just do a quick recap. Okay, go so for it. So number one, we had those reactions. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, we had the new templates. Love it. Number three, we had the read-only mode. I like that. And then I think your favorite, number four, I think was I think the whiteboard right. web app. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Definitely. Awesome cool. features. You know what? We're going to go over to Jenna Lee right now. But before we go, I want to do a selfie with you. Let's do it. So let's do All it. All right. <laughs> All right. Whiteboard for, for, for the, the win. win. Woo! Hi, I'm Jenny Long. And I'm Salee Clark. And, and we are Jenna Lee. Lee. We are here today to talk to you about an exciting new feature from Microsoft in PowerPoint. It is called Live Presentations. We are so excited about this because as educators, we are constantly teaching our students how to be better communicators. But it's not only good for our students, it's also good for us as presenters because we want to make sure we're always honing in on our skills and becoming the best presenters we can for our students. It's a constant battle. It is something that we always have to work on. And, you know, I think um, our students even have stage fright sometimes, and we have loved using Presenter Coach. Mm. So this has been a game changer with our students and our teachers, and even for us. Absolutely. We have loved um, being able to work on words like um, um, and practice our timings and really work on our pacing. So I think getting those reports with Presenter Coach has been a game changer. But now it's getting even better. Microsoft is taking it up to a whole new level with live presentations. Let us show you some of the features they have to offer. I'm so excited about this. Live presentations is free for students and teachers and it's right at your fingertips. So we're gonna go through this and as a teacher, what I would do first is I have my presentation that I'm gonna show and I'm gonna go ahead and click present live. So then my students, are gonna engage with my presentation. They can use any device they would like, like a tablet, phone, or a computer. I just scan the QR code and the link pops up on my phone. I click the link and the presentation opens on my device. Love that. So as you get that open on your screen, I can advance to the next slide and then what happens on your screen? Oh my goodness that slide shows up on my screen. So you could go back though if you need I to, I can right? go back, but I cannot go forward. Okay, good. So I can't jump ahead. I have to stay with you or go back and catch up. We need to keep you on task. So <laughs> you can so go true. back and get caught up, which is good. <laughs> but you're gonna stay on task and we're gonna um, do the presentation together. And then I see something else on your screen. What is that? Live captions are showing up on my screen right awesome. now in English. However, if I click the bottom left button, it's like an A and it says English beside it, I can choose whichever wow, language I need the content to be translated into for me. And I think there's over like 60 languages that you can choose from. It's really amazing. So right That's now, as you're talking, my screen is now showing French live captions. Awesome, so when I advance to the next slide, you can see that you have that on your screen as well. Yeah, but it gets even better. If I wanna turn my device to the side, the screen will get larger. Wow. And I can even take two fingers and zoom in on the content, which is great because I do have a smaller device in my hand. So for a student that has a visual impairment, they can make that screen as large and increase that text size to whatever they need. That's exactly right. Fabulous. Another great feature in the bottom right corner is a cool smiley face. Emoji. Yes, it's so great. So I'm just gonna click the little emoji face. Now some options pop up. And as you're presenting, I can send Lots all my love. love to you. And look at my screen. <laughs> so as I'm presenting, I'm gonna feel great because you are sending all kinds of love to my screen. But we know that our students are gonna just have a blast They're with this. They're gonna love so that. 
you know, as a teacher, I would recommend letting them get this out of their system the first couple times. But think as a teacher, if we are presenting or at presenting at a conference, that feedback as you are um, presenting and the audience is interacting, that's just huge. It's gonna be great. And even as a teacher, I can connect a rubric to these so that way I know instantly what the heart needs and what the thumbs up I love needs. that. So it's a great way to use it in the classroom. Good thinking, Slee. All right, so I'm gonna go on through the presentation. And what I love, we love feedback. We've talked a little bit about that. But at the end of my presentation, we have been like, okay, this is what I think is fabulous about this. Because as presenters, we have always gone and created a shortened URL. Oh, yes. We create a QR yes. code. And when we heard about this, that was just like, we looked at each other and we were like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. So we always have to make our own Microsoft form and at the end of the presentation, we give it to our participants and then they fill it out and we go get it. However, now, now when you end the slide, it immediately puts the form on my device and I can rate the presentation and even fill out a few more details. So what are you gonna give me on my presentation? Of course, a five star five always. Five stars, yes. thank you. <laughs> so you can go in and rate the presentation and then as a presenter, I'm gonna get an email with that feedback. So I can go back and read through that and make you know changes based on uh, the feedback I got so I can improve. And as students, they can use that feedback to improve as well. So that's reaching our goal and helping our students to be better communicators and use these tools that Microsoft has given us. It's gonna be great. It's not available yet, stay tuned. It's gonna be free on the web for teachers and students. We can't wait. Ooh, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be great, awesome. I know. <gasps> All right, we're gonna get back to work. Thanks, bye. bye. Thanks, Jenna Lee. I'm here with Neil from the Stream team. Thanks, it's nice to see you, Assam. I'd love for you to tell us how you're using video in your classroom with your students. I believe that video is such a powerful medium to actually teach and support my learners. And why? Because it's such an engaging way. They can pause, they can rewind a video, they can learn anytime, anywhere, and in a manner that engages and suits their, their 21st century needs. That's awesome. Yeah. And we know from young people how natively they love to consume video. Absolutely. Can you tell me about an example of how you're using Stream in your classroom? Yeah, so what I've done is I've converted my traditional presentations into screencasts. And the idea is that when they walk into my classroom, they'll watch my lecture, which normally lasts for about five to eight minutes. And basically, if they don't understand something, I'm there also to give them extra support. But the beauty with this is that it generates the transcripts automatically. Yeah. They can search for a key word where I mentioned that word in the video and it jumps straight to the video. It's, it's actually fantastic. It it's really awesome. is. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, thank you very and much. And that's just the start for us at Microsoft Stream. We're excited over the next few months to share web-based screen recording. You're going to be able to create, edit, and publish screen recordings directly awesome. from your browser. You can do this regardless of device, and we have more to come. Back to you, Stephen. Wow, what an amazing, fun-filled, informative, high-energy day at BET. Our first day at BET 2020, and we didn't even get to everything. Stephen, Stephen, Mike, we be talking about the OneNote Live captions, bulk delete, immersive reader? Mike, we did talk about this. You are episode three. I just said we didn't have enough time. We got to wait until later, man. OK. See you, man. As I was saying, we can't cover everything. It's not possible. But if you join us on the Microsoft blog, we've got you covered for all the updates and all the goodness. So I'd just like to say thanks. Day one here at BET on What's New in EDU. It's been great. Join us tomorrow, same time, same place, for more of the same goodness. See you later.